Hello, and welcome to a Digital Media Academy how-to, an introduction into wireless robotics using Bluetooth. My name is Sam Jaffe, and I am one of the lead instructors here at Digital Media Academy. In this wireless robotics how-to, we'll be focusing on the Bluetooth module and how to set it up. Later we'll discuss Arduino, the brains of the robot, and processing, the application we'll be using to send data to the Bluetooth module. What you'll need to complete this project is an RN42XV Bluetooth module, a regulated breakout board for the Bluetooth module, a Macintosh computer with Bluetooth, an Arduino board, a breadboard, some wire, and whatever other electronic components you'd like to put on your robot, like motors, servos, or lights. Let's get started. If you have an Arduino and you'd like to make your project wireless, you have many options. You can use an XB module, you can use other transmitters and receivers. You can even dissect an old remote-controlled car. But for this how-to, we're going to use Bluetooth because it's cheap and reliable. First, get your RN42XV Bluetooth module. We're going to be connecting this to an Arduino via a breadboard. If you'll notice, the Bluetooth module's pins are too close together to fit into the breadboard. To fit this into the breadboard, we need something called a breakout board. We're going to be using a regulated breakout board but if you're familiar with circuits, you can just use a regular breakout board, which is cheaper. This Bluetooth module runs for about $20 on SparkFun. This regulated breakout board is about $10 on SparkFun.com, but it's very useful. As you can see on the end of the breakout board, we have 5 volts, ground, digital out, and digital in. These are all the pins we need to send data to and from the Arduino. In this example, we'll only be sending data to the Arduino, so we only really need the D out. What you're going to do first is place the Bluetooth module onto the regulated breakout board. Then, solder three wires for power, ground, and D out. Place your Arduino onto your breadboard. Then take your three wires from your regulated breakout board and attach them to the Arduino. 5 volts goes to 5 volts, ground goes to ground, and D out goes to RX0. Now plug your USB cable into your Arduino. Plug the other end into your computer. This will give the Arduino 5 volts, which will then give the regulated breakout board 5 volts, which will then convert the voltage into 3.3 volts for the Bluetooth module. This is why we need the regulated breakout board, and not just a normal breakout board. Now you want to set up your Bluetooth module on your computer. Go into System Preferences, go to Bluetooth, and listed on the left, you'll see all of your Bluetooth devices. You might have an iPod Touch, a keyboard, a mouse. What you want to do is add another Bluetooth device for this Bluetooth module. So you click Add, or Set Up New Device. What you want is something called Firefly, with some address at the end. Click Continue. Let me just sit back and let it do its thing. Wonderful. So now your computer has created a serial port. It's going to use the serial port to communicate to and from the Bluetooth module. Now the Bluetooth module is set up. Move on to the next video to see how to read the data from the Bluetooth module onto the Arduino and use that data to control robot parts. Thanks for watching. Now let's talk about making this cheaper. This is for people who have experience with circuitry and voltage conversion. Be careful. If you're not familiar with these subjects, you may break your components if you attempt the next parts. You do not need the following to make Bluetooth work. In later videos, we'll just be using what we just talked about. However, if you are experienced with circuitry and would like to cut down your costs, keep watching. We can get Bluetooth to work for about $17 instead of our original $31. So let's do it. The first way to cut costs is to buy an unregulated breakout board and some headers. These are $3 and $1.50 at SparkFun instead of the regulated breakout board's $10. All you have to do with this is solder the headers to the breakout board, then solder wires to the breakout pins. Solder a wire to ground and attach it to ground on your Arduino. Solder to D out and attach it to Arduino's RX1. These two are just like before. Now comes the change. Solder a wire to VCC and attach it to 3.3 volts. These Bluetooth modules will break if you power them with 5 volts. If your Arduino board has a 3.3 volt output, great. Some Arduinos do, and some Arduinos don't. If your Arduino doesn't, you may need to get a voltage regulator, which will cost another dollar from SparkFun. Now, the absolute cheapest way to do this kind of Bluetooth is to grab the tiny module that sits on top of the RN42XV. 
the module we've needed a breakout board for is actually a breakout board in itself. If we bypass this, we can save a couple dollars. And while we're ditching breakout boards, we won't need the other one as well. To make this work, you'll need to be experienced with surface mount soldering. Take your Bluetooth chip and check on the data sheet for the pinout. See where 3.3 volts ground and D out are connected. Then carefully solder wires to those three pins and run them to your Arduino like before. And don't forget to convert the voltages. This is an example of wires being soldered directly to the RN42 chip. These wires go to the digital out and the ground. So there you have it, sleek, discreet, and only $16. Use any of these three methods to get your Arduino to speak Bluetooth. Move on to the next video to see how to read the data from the Bluetooth module onto the Arduino and use that data to control robot parts.